If you have the money, there are a lot of reasons why you should buy a flagship device over a mid-range one. One of the most obvious reasons is for a better camera. I'm Nick Ray, the High Tech Traveler, and today I'm going to be comparing the cameras of the LG G6 and the Huawei P10. Both have dual cameras with dual sensor arrays, but they are pretty different. The 13 megapixel sensor of the G6's main camera is used for standard photos with an f1.8 71 degree lens, but the second sensor sports an f2.4 125 degree wide angle lens. The G6's front facing camera has a 5 megapixel sensor, which is paired with a 100 degree wide angle lens as well. As for the P10's dual camera, it's comprised of a 12 megapixel RGB and 20 megapixel monochrome sensor, which are both paired with f2.2 82 degree lenses, and the front facing camera has an 8 megapixel sensor. As I've said, both phones capture great photos, especially when compared to cheaper devices with inferior camera sensors. But there's a clear distinction between the G6 and the P10 when you look at the photos. The camera on LG's phone is tuned to produce more vibrant colors. Blues are darker, yellows are richer, and reds are a lot deeper. When you put the results from the G6 side by side with those of the P10, the photos on Huawei's device look a little bit washed out. But if you look a little bit closer, the P10 has much higher dynamic range than the G6 does. Dark areas that you see in the G6's photos are much brighter when you look at the ones produced by the P10. This is because the phone uses its RGB sensor to capture color information and the monochrome sensor to pull in more light for every single picture it takes. You can even take pictures directly against the sun and still get details that are completely blacked out when you take the same picture with the G6. Here, you can see a lot more detail in the side pillars of the bridge. And in this shot, the P10 captures incredible detail in the grass, detail that's completely lost in the G6's picture. When zooming in, images from both phones appear to show the same amount of detail. The only time that the P10 has a slight advantage is when that detail you're looking for is in the shadows. When lighting conditions aren't perfect, the P10 switches roles with the G6, producing pictures with richer colors. Taking pictures at midday with a high sun, the G6 fares well, but the P10 has a clear advantage since it's able to better compensate for the extra light captured by both sensors. But the G6 does have a leg up on the P10 when it comes to low light photography. The P10's promise of capturing more light in its images falls flat on its face at times since its optical image stabilization can't compensate enough for the extra milliseconds that the shutter stays open. Compared to the G6, the P10's photos are a bit blurry and have significantly more noise. I typically don't take a lot of selfies, but I have included a few to give you an idea of what the front-facing camera can do as well. The higher resolution sensor of the P10 captures more detail than the G6's does, but I was quite surprised to see that the sensor used by Huawei doesn't have the best dynamic range. The G6's does, and it manages to capture saturated shots of the subject and the surroundings. The fact that the G6 has a 100 degree wide angle lens as well for the selfie camera means that you'll be able to fit a lot more friends in your shots without having to lug around a selfie stick either. Now, I'm not going to tell you which of these two phones has a better camera. I will say that the P10's photos are typically more accurate, but I honestly enjoy using the LG G6 a lot more. And that has a lot to do with its ultra wide angle lens, which I'll be talking about in another video. But I want to know what your take is on either of these two devices and which one you think has a better camera. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.